Virtual digital assets or the VDAs were trading mixed on Wednesday as investors await the outcome of deliberations among the US lawmakers over the debt ceiling, which is likely to influence the prices of cryptocurrencies going forward. IC15 index of cryptocurrency was down by 0.3% at 37,420 points. Uh, the UK Treasury Committee has advocated for the regulations of the consumer cryptocurrency trading as gambling. In a recent report, the committee has also asked for the consumers trading in unbacked crypto assets should be treated in regulations as gambling. According to the statement from the Lightning Labs, the most recent uh, interiation of the Bitcoin Taproot Assets Protocol, which was which enables multi-asset support over the Lightning Network, has entered the testnet phase. The update allows unlimited minting and moving assets in one transactions. This is set to revolutionize users' interactions uh, with assets analysts have actually highlighted. The eagerly awaited markets in crypto assets, which is MICA legislation, has received the final approval of members of the Council of the European Union, allowing it to become a standardized law. Interestingly, the US Treasury uh, Secretary General reaffirmed the government must raise the ceiling immediately since the default may take place as early as June 1st. Going forward, a new cryptocurrency, which is commonly known as Save the Bee, has been launched in response to the alarming losses of B numbers worldwide. The major goal of this one of its kind digital assets is to raise awareness about the predicament of the bees and support their protections, recognizing their virtual role in our global environment. And the stock futures were were trading higher as investors await news of the developments in the negotiations between the congressional leaders and the President Joe Biden on the US debt ceiling. And futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average added 45 points or 0.14% S&P 500 futures and Nasdaq 100 futures gained 0.19% and 0.23% respectively. Bitcoin was seen trading at $26,853 down by 0.6%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto was down by 0.5% at $1,805. On my left, Binance BNB was down by 0.5% to trade at $309. Next on the list was Solana Sol was down by 1.5% at $20.6. Cardano's ADA token was down by 0.1% to trade at $0.36. Avalanche AVEX was trading at $14.8 lower by 1%. Shiba Inu was trading down by 0.8%. However, Polygon Matic was trading up by 0.1% at $0.85. Doge the popular meme coin was trading up by 2% at $0.073. Ripple's XRP token was trading at $0.44 up by 5.3%. Ripple's XRP token jumped more than 6% after winning another fight in its long-running dispute with the Securities Action Commission. The end conclusion has been favorable for the XRP holders. Uh, on May 16, the court court has actually proceeded over the Ripple's versus SEC lawsuit and refused the securities regulator's motion. The judge refused the application to seal any records related to, to lecture given by the former SEC head William Hinman in June 2018. In a separate news, Polkadot was, was up by 0.5% to trade at $5.3. Now let's move on to our market expert Harshit Chachar for its technical views on the overall cryptocurrency market. Over to you. So see, BTC currently it is trading at around 2600, uh, 26,800 currently and is below, you know, an, an average of uh, 10 to 50 day expo exponential moving average. Uh, and that's around $27,000 to $27,600. Uh, right, so uh, when we see these uh, price levels coming up, uh, there is, uh, you know, a, a volatility which is there in the market. However, BTC's market share has increased over a period of time, especially during the month of May, right? And the compression in BTC's trading range implies that the market participants are clearly playing a safe role and taking playing things safely at the moment. And overall, if we see the BTC share for uh, the overall crypto market continues to rise. So Ethereum hit a high of $1,800 uh, range earlier in the day, which follows on from the bottom at uh, $1,790, $1,780 range at the start of the week. So despite a brief breakdown, breakout from uh, below the $1,800 levels, Ethereum was largely stable on Tuesday. 
and the world's second largest cryptocurrency has since declined and at this point of time it's around uh, it's trading around uh, 1810 uh, range approximately so should this move beyond a reading of 45 uh, you know 45 points there is a good chance that the eth bulls uh, will make another run for uh, approximately 1900 dollars level thank you harshit for sharing your views about the technical aspect of the cryptocurrency market that's all there is in today's coin monitor is manoj dara signing off but keep watching 3.0 tv for more such interesting analysis and our main market updates thank you Merchant Commerce platform Pine Labs announced the acceptance of digital rupee on its point of sale terminals in partnership with ICICI Bank. The technology integration between the two entities will now support digital rupee acceptance at Pine Labs point of sale terminals across key retail outlets in Mumbai and Bengaluru. Pine Labs execution of digital rupee payment process is completely digital via dynamic QR built within its smart Android POS terminals. CBDC and digital rupee open up exciting opportunities said P Amrish Rao chief executive officer of Pine Labs if implemented correctly it can accelerate the migration from paper based currency to digital Pine Labs is happy to partner with ICICI Bank is launching CBDC as a payment option under this pilot run by the RBI Digital monetary policy for CBDCs will be a top priority for global leaders at the Group of 7 summit being held in Hiroshima this week. The leaders will discuss crypto rules for money laundering and CBDCs roles in improved payment efficiency and financial inclusion. Leaders from Japan, the US, the UK, Canada, France, Germany and Italy will meet in Hiroshima city this week to discuss crypto, CBDCs and other matters of global importance. These include climate change, nuclear disarmament and the Russia-Ukraine war. At a meeting earlier this month, the leaders committed to applying new crypto regulations from the July 2023 Financial Stability Board recommendations. They also support the Crypto Financial Action Task Force travel rule that imposes reporting requirements on digital asset service providers for all crypto transactions. The use of CBDC from any country including the United States is prohibited in Florida as a result of a statute that governor Ron DeSantis signed into law. Following the signing on Friday, DeSantis charged that the Biden administration intended to crowd out and eliminate other types of digital assets like cryptocurrencies by expressly prohibiting the use of a federally adopted central bank digital currency as money within Florida's uniform commercial code, instituting protections against the central global currency by prohibiting any CBDC issued by a foreign reserve or foreign sanctioned central bank and calling on like-minded states to join Florida in adopting similar prohibitions within their respective commercial codes the proposed legislation aims to safeguard Florida's citizens and businesses we will keep you connected to the evolving world of NFT for accurate and latest updates of cryptocurrency markets and global regulations metaverse and web3 3.0 tv covers the latest crypto crimes keeps you updated about the global crypto events and exhibitions